was at my worst It's grace that you extended That I did not deserve I am so amazed by Good morning. Welcome to another daily vlog. Welcome to our Sunday morning. Um, it's always crazy around here. I do vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button. Join us. I post every single morning and I love bringing you guys along with me throughout my life. Um, my husband is a pastor. Our church is launching in one week. So we've been having services. We're still having services, but this is like the official launch where the community knows we're here. Um, we're going to have a big like ceremony kind of thing. And we're really excited about it. So my husband's a pastor. Sunday mornings for our whole entire marriage has been him leaving way before I have to leave. And once we had kids, that means I'm getting everybody ready, which is not a big deal. Like I get them ready every single day, but there's something special about Sunday mornings where it's just like harder. I don't, everybody's crazier and harder and we're trying to get them ready for church and it's, you know, fighting and all this. But anyway, we're almost there. I still have to get my littlest guy ready. Um, Nate and Lucy are ready to go and we get there. About an hour early, I like to set up the coffee area, just make sure there's nothing else I need to do, just be there when people get there and say hey to everybody, and it's going to be a really great day. We're going to go to church. I'm not feeling this lipstick color the more I look at it, but it's too late now. I'm not changing it. It looks better in real life. It looks kind of orangey on camera, but it's not. It's, it's a darker, I don't know, it just looks weird to me on my camera. Um... We're going to have a great day. We're going to be at church until lunchtime, and then we'll come home, and I'll make the kids lunch. We'll chill for a little while, and then tonight, there is a back-to-school bash at the main campus, and they're going to have, like, games and inflatables and, uh, like, a, a service, a fun service, and then after that, inflatables and, ga and uh, games and food and stuff like that. So the kids are very excited about that, and yeah. Lucy's birthday is tomorrow. She's about to be nine and we're bringing donuts for her to share with her church friends today. She picked out chocolate donuts. So she's excited to bring those. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really else to tell y'all. I am tired. David didn't get home from that like midnight prayer service. It was almost 1am. So I could not sleep until he got home. And then um, I... Once he got home, I still couldn't sleep. <laughs> so um, I tried reading and like it, nothing really helped. But I finally fell asleep. I don't know what time it was. And then I've been up since about 630 when he got back up to go to church. And I tried to go back to sleep because I don't really have to get start getting ready till about eight. But I just couldn't go back to sleep. And Nate got up. And anyway, so we've been up for a while. Anyway, I'm about to head that way. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, I'm hoping that we're able to sit in the, in the service and not have to take Nate out. It's been a few weeks since I've been able to sit in the service. It's just one thing or another. Last week we had that plumbing issue and we had all that leak. So the whole service, me and, and a lot of our team were cleaning that up. And I never really updated you guys on that, but we had a plumber come out or some specialist or something come out 
and they like checked everything. They ran like a bunch of like snakes to like look at all the plumbing. They can't find that issue. There was, there's nothing. No, there's that either. There's something we can't see or there was something that got caught up or something and it worked itself out. So I'm hoping that we never have that problem again, but um, we'll see. We'll see. So let, let us go to church. I'm going to, I guess I'll carry the camera around with me today just to see if there's anything going on at church. Sometimes I'll leave it here and just talk to you guys after, but I'll bring it with me today just in case something happens. And um, hopefully nothing bad. It's all going to be good. <laughs> no, no like sound issues or plumbing issues or power issues or health issues. Like it's going to be a great day. And uh, we will see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, I'm adding band-aids to the box. It's kind of loud, y'all, but I'm going to show you. When I get here, this won't fit underneath very well um, to pour the coffee in. So I pour it cup by cup <laughs> into the uh, pump pot. I just and I desperately need coffee, so I'm gonna fill this up and get all the coffee stuff out. All right, I got it all full. Just set it here, and then I just check um, all of our supplies. Like I think we need probably a few more cups out here. Everything else looks good, and I need to get out the creamer. And let me show you guys this. David hung this TV here that's gonna like play um like cafe this is gonna have our logo and say like cafe west and um it's really cute the little slides he made for it so it'll make the space a little bit more obvious got the creamers on here i still want to add to our creamers uh, we've had this going about a month or so and we still have a lot left like that's still almost full that's still almost full this is about halfway so I'm going to add some sugar-free next, I think. There we go. It's all set up. I just wanted to show you our nursery. These um, foam tiles just came in, so we just laid them down. It didn't take too long. We have more, but we're going to start with this. Um, but it's a nice soft place if the babies fall when they're playing. They won't get hurt. I think it looks really good. So I don't think I've ever shown you all the nursery, but here it is take you guys in and show you how the sanctuary is looking because it's been redone the stage they're having practice in there so we're going to be real quiet and i'm going to show you hey guys i'm showing y'all real quick before church starts okay so i decided to go ahead and have lunch and I made the other half of my HelloFresh Falafel Power Bowl. This thing was so good yesterday. I'm excited to have it again. So if you missed when I told you about it, it's a bed of spinach with a falafel, grape tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, almonds, feta cheese, hummus, and a garlic uh, pita bread on the side. Yum. I'm so excited. And it has like a Greek vinaigrette on there. All right, you guys, I laid down and like was watching a YouTube video and I dozed off for about half an hour. Um, it's three o'clock. Like my hair looks crazy. I gotta get it together before tonight. Um, it's three o'clock and we need to start getting ready in about an hour. Um, Mark, I think is asleep. He's being very quiet in his room. So I think he's asleep. I made myself a little coffee drink. Yum. Mm. This is really good. <laughs> shot of espresso, some water, some half and half, a little bit of whipped cream, and some caramel. Mm. I'm also going to have protein bar. I really like these Robert Irvine Thick Crunch Bars. I feel like I need a little pick-me-up. My lunch was so good. I want... The next time they have like those falafel bowls, I want to get like all, like all the whole box of just falafel bowls because they were so good. Their falafel is one of the best falafels I've ever had. And I've had several different kinds at Mediterranean restaurants and I've, I've bought like frozen ones before, but these were so good. And then all the toppings that were on there, it just, 
was delicious. So I'm going to just have this coffee and this protein bar. They're supposed to have food tonight. I think they're going to like grill out. I'm not sure exactly. So I'll probably eat something there, but I don't want to be like too hungry. And um, we get this protein bar in. So nothing really else to say. David had to go up. He just left a few minutes ago. He had to get there early and we're going to get there like right at time. So um, I'm going to let the kids rest and recharge. Mark was very fussy today. I don't, I hopefully he feels okay. Um, because you know, Lucy was sick on Friday and I think he's okay. He just was, I don't know, three-year-old tantrumy. <laughs> he didn't want to, um, he didn't want to, well, he saw Nate with the Kindle, which Nate gets the Kindle during church because that's how we get through church. And he just did not understand. So he had a little bit of a meltdown. And anyway, he was okay, but I could just tell like he was really tired. So he needs a nap. So anyway, um, he's sleeping, which is a good thing. I think he's sleeping. He's in there being very quiet and I'm not opening the door. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's asleep. So um it's hot outside and i know the after the service thing is going to be outside so i'm going to wear like i think capris and like a t-shirt i just put on my y'all i'm representing seven brew my favorite coffee place <laughs> and this shirt is so comfortable so i put this on just to lay around in but i need to get dressed here soon but i'm watching my crime weekly show i love crime weekly so much I watch it every single week. I usually wait till Sunday when it comes out on YouTube so I can actually watch it and not just listen to it. If you need a good podcast recommendation, Crime Weekly. If you like any kind of crime shows, that's the best. They do deep dives, so they're long episodes, which I love. Um, I love deep dives. <laughs> Don't give me a 30-minute crime show. Like I want the deep dives, and that's what they do. So I'm going to enjoy this little snack. And I'll see you guys back. I'll take you with me today and we'll see how it goes. I'm really hoping the kids do okay tonight, especially Nate. Um, he loves fun events like this. Like it, he should do really well. But sometimes they are loud and a lot of people and stuff. And then yeah, he has a harder time. But usually he really likes inflatables and a party atmosphere. That's usually all, all up his alley. So I'm hoping... That he really likes it and then we'll be y'all it's the weekend goes by so fast we'll be getting ready when we get back home for school tomorrow so and lucy's birthday tomorrow so anyway i'll see you guys back shortly all right you guys we're back from church i ended up getting no footage because we're just trying to keep up with everybody they had two bouncy houses and they were trying to keep like the little kids in one and the big kids in one and then they would switch um, but our, both of our boys did not want to pay attention to that. <laughs> so I kept having to like get them out, try to get them in the other one. Of course they don't want to go in the other one, but they had so much fun. We stayed there till 7.30 or so. So we were there for a while because church started at five and they did really good through the service. Um, we made it through the whole thing. There are big cicadas flying into our window over here. It's like freaking me out. They're so big. They make like a terrible noise when they fly into that um but we made it through the service and it was really great they played are you smarter than a fifth grader and they had prayer for all the students and um Nate actually did really good I, I brought him down they had a whole line of students that everybody was praying for and he stood there and let them pray for him he did really great and um was really it and then we had food they had like hot dogs and chips and cookies and stuff and then they got to jump and bounce and they loved that then we came home while david was helping clean up and i bathed the kids and we just got them into bed they're not asleep yet but they're in bed and i know that david's exhausted he just got home and he was up at the church for the midnight prayer service yesterday and then um, he didn't get home till like 1 a.m. and had to leave again by like 6.30. So he's really tired. And um, hopefully he can get some good sleep. But anyway, Lucy's birthday is tomorrow. So we just tucked her in for the last time as an eight-year-old. Always makes me kind of sad to tuck them in for the last time before they turn a different age. 
growing up so fast, but that is really it for today. I don't know how much footage I got, but I feel like it wasn't that much. But you got to see a little bit of the church and um, our day. And I will see you guys back for Lucy's birthday tomorrow. We have presents for her. She's going to, we're going to have her big like cake and celebration and stuff when family are in town this weekend. So tomorrow we're going to have her birthday dinner. Um, she wanted ice cream for dessert. We're going to have ice cream for dessert tomorrow. And then she's going to get to open a couple presents from us. And then she'll get to open more um, on Saturday or Sunday next week. So anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you all tomorrow.